Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a pen and games update and this is a collab with the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook and I'm pretty sure you know because I have been doing this project since the beginning of August and I chat about the Pantastic Ladies all the time on my channel because I really love them and I love the products that they do even though I don't do them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed about projects because I have a lot going on. I feel I'm so low. This project is based on the Hunger Games, if you don't know. We started out with a basket of 50 products and in 24 seconds we were going to pick 24 items to work on. I have 5 products left in this project, which is really really good. They are the hard items and they are the items that I expected to have at the end of the project. I really hope I can finish off them off soon because I have some big plans for some projects and I really want some items gone. So let's just get into the empty because I do have one and then one or two changes and then some progress. The empty I have for this update is my eye primer. I'm so excited. It is the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. The writing has almost rubbed off. I can I can barely see it but I was up to here last update I took out the stopper and to get the remaining product I had to take a q-tip and then scrape it all out because my beauty spatula is the back but it is done finally at the end of this my eye started watering I did mention it in my two weeks one palette when I was working on a it does have palette, but my eyes is not watering anymore and I'm really really excited about it. This was not a good eye primer, so I will not buy that again. Bye bye. This is the Dovey Semi Glow Guru Illuminating Face Cream in Pink Glow. You can use this in different ways. You can use it on your body, you can use it on your skin and you can mix it in with foundation. I mostly used it with the foundation in the beginning of this project and then I used up the foundation in this project and that could go with it and then I started panning a new foundation and it didn't match so I had to be creative and I didn't use it for a few months I needed to start on a more liquidy body lotion and I mixed it in with that and now I have a kind of an illuminating body lotion the shimmer or shine is very very subtle Subtle? Subtle? Again? How do you say that? Subtle? 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 It's not very intense at all, so it's fine. And this is how I'm going to use the last bit up of this and the body lotion. And I didn't like the container that the body lotion came in, so I depotted it into this empty jar of body butter from the body shop. So last time I was up to here and now it is done so I'm not going to update you guys on this anymore because I'm just going to use the body lotion. It is the one that I use every time I have been in the shower. So this is done without really being done but it's done when I used up the body lotion and if I think I'm right I can do that by the finale anyway, so it wouldn't really matter if I updated you guys on an empty product or not. Then we have this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. Last time I told you guys I have a fake pan, and that is right. I have been depotting a little bit, like a quarter maybe, into my Gwen Stefani palette. I have now pressed it. I have pressed it a little bit too hard, or maybe it's just this way. I don't really know. Um, it's very very hard to use because I wanted to use it as a blush because I didn't like it as an eyeshadow and I didn't want to force myself through that eyeshadow. So now it's a blush. It's a glowy blush. Um, because I pressed it a little bit hard it is harder to pick it up on my brush but I think it's pretty when I have built it up a few times. So I think it's worth it. I'm working on it. So let's see if I can finish this a little bit. By the end of the project I think I'm just going to toss it because I really don't want to use it and I don't really know if I want to use that bit. I have not decided yet but for the next update I will for sure let you know what I have decided about this product. So 
So before we get to the paper part, I'm just going to mention that I use this as a top up every single day. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Can. This is a liquid lipstick and I use it every single day. There are still a ton of product. So let's see if I can actually finish that by the finale in August. The stopper is out and have been for uh, quite a few months now. The two items that I'm going to be showing you on the paper. The first one is my eBay lip liner in number four. Number four. A 14. Four. So this is a beautiful nude lip liner. I am using this every single morning and sometimes as a touch up if I'm going to a party when I'm wearing the soft matte lip cream and that liner. So that is my progress right there. I'm so excited. Let me tell you. For so long I haven't made amazing progress and then I finally just said I'm just going to do it once every morning and I do sharpen it a lot because it gets very dull. From previous experience the product goes down to the white line so if I go as with this speed I think I can finish it by August. Then we have my W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick. This is a highlighter stick. I have it on my cheekbones right now. That is all I have left. It is so exciting because there was so much product in the beginning. So now it's finally going down. That is my progress line. It's teeny tiny as you can see. I use it underneath my foundation. For the past week I haven't been good at using it because I have been rushing out the door and then I just minimize the steps that I have been uh, using. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like, subscribe down below so don't miss out on the next update. There will be some changes as well. I have do been doing a lot of changes in my pretty pants recently. I just want to be a happy panner and for me to be a happy panner I need to work on products that I actually like. So I hope you guys are okay. You have been so so supportive and so kind with all your yay for decluttering and working on products that you actually like. So I'm so happy that you actually like me decluttering. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it but I really don't want to work on products that I don't like. So until my next video I hope you guys are going to take care of yourself. Bye!